all right hey everyone i hope you all are doing well and in this video we are going to go ahead and continue playing some more dead by daylight the online multiplayer game in this video we are going to go ahead and play as a survivor but this time compared to my previous videos i am going to play as um another survivor that i really enjoy and that survivor's name is nia carlson i believe it's from a uh, uh, the Left 4 Dead series, such as, uh, William Bill Overbeck here, and, um, Ace. So, before going to match, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and show my loadout. I'm going to go ahead and use a toolbox, just because if I use it, the repair speed is increased by 50%. The decreased skill check success zone is, uh, down, it decreases by 10%, which is pretty good. And it also gives me the option to sabotage hooks if I want to, to kind of um, um, make the the um, make the killer um, life a little bit more difficult, I suppose, or at least if it's a hook closer to where they um, they down a, a survivor. Some of the add-ons I'm using is um, one is a uh, I'm not sure what that is. It looks like like a Cause this one's a clean rag but this one just has instructions so i'm going to just assume it's like a piece of paper but with this add-on it eliminates skill checks while repairing with the toolbox so that's pretty nice for whenever i want to use the toolbox and then my second uh add-on is the clean rag which when using the toolbox it increases the repair speed by 20 percent which is very very good now um to go ahead and kind of show the four perks I'm using to show off what I'm working with. The first perk I have equipped is a perk I really like. It's called Balanced Landing. And it's an agility perk. So after I fall from a height, let's say it's um, out of a out of a home or um, I fall within like a hole in the floor and I'm, I land on like um, the uh, whatever the... the floor below would be like if I'm from a if I'm like on a second story I drop down to the ground floor you know um I uh, my reflexes will reduce my stagger duration when I land by 75 percent and it reduces the volume of noises uh, my character will make from falling completely by 100 percent and then I'll start sprinting with a, uh, a sprint boost at 150 percent of my normal running speed for three seconds what is um kind of unfortunate is after um the sprint speed my character will be exhausted and this effect will last for almost a minute so about 50 seconds but um i will be able to like kind of reuse this perk i suppose when um this um uh, exhausted status effect uh uh resets and the second uh, perk i have equipped is called urban evasion so with this, my movement speed while I'm crouched, so if I'm crouched like around a generator, around like um, some like rocks or like a building I'm trying to escape the killer, I will have increased movement speed crouching, which is very, uh, very beneficial in my opinion. The third perk I have is resilience. While I'm injured, I gain an additional 6% speed when repairing, sabotaging, healing, unhooking, vaulting, cleansing, or blessing a totem opening exit gates and um and uh unlocking while injured so um pretty much everything that um you can do as a survivor sounds like with this perk you get an in you get like a, a speed increase just um uh, while you're injured and then the fourth perk i'm using is also a really good one while i'm injured um the skill check success zones when i'm repairing a generator and um healing someone will get 30 percent bigger while i'm injured so that's pretty nice because now that that zone the skill check zone has um has a um, a bigger uh i suppose you can call it yeah like a, a radius or zone where i'll probably have an easier time hitting those skill checks so that's kind of what i'm working with right now with the uh, neo carlson keep in mind i am fairly new to this game um still so I still have plenty to uh, improve upon uh, just with gameplay and like unlocking different perks and trying those out and learning new characters. But uh, 
We also went to the archives. I picked out a new challenge, which which is vault a pallet or a window while in the chase six times. So hopefully during uh, um, this gameplay here, I will be able to uh, achieve that, or at least most of it. And uh, I bring it up in every video, but before I um, search for a match here, sometimes finding a match can take a couple minutes. By the way, um, you know, while uh, the I'm waiting to search for a match and to find a game, it's just going to be a, a long and boring wait. So I'm just going to make cuts or edits in the video where once I search for a match or I'm out of a match, I'm going to immediately cut the um the clip to another match that i'm uh beginning in so uh that being said let's go ahead and uh get into it all right welcome back everyone we found a match and we are playing on the black water swamp this map is kind of uh kind of beneficial i like it just because um with all this like tall grass and like um i suppose you can you can call it oh i could hear the heartbeat uh, shubbery? I, I don't think that's the right word. But, like, kind of like this tall grass and, like, vegetation. Um, it's, I, I really like it. I feel like it's, it can be kind of easy to, like, hide within the grass. Or, like, this bush here and kind of get away from the killer. But, I immediately started crouching because I thought I could hear the, uh, terror radius. I believe that's what it's called. Well, we are going to kind of, um, let's go ahead and cleanse this, uh, totem here. So, so far pretty good. I would say at the beginning of the match, we didn't spawn next to, or get the attention of the killer. So I would say, uh, I think that's a pretty good start compared to, um, at least my most recent, um, video where I played as, I believe it was Fang Min, who, uh, like, like two or three of those matches I started. It was like at the very beginning I spawned next to the killer or was very close enough to where it was just a bad start. But it wasn't a big deal. I'm still having, still having fun. Now, I'm going to try to find a generator. But I kind of want to hug the outside here just because I don't know where this killer is. There is a generator right here, kind of in the open. I'm going to take the... Oh my god. He saw me, didn't he? Thanks to the crouch movement speed. I can kind of... Uh, I can quickly move while crouched. Alright, so he didn't see me, but he saw that survivor. Let's go ahead and focus on this uh, generator while uh, we have time. It looks like there's a survivor to left of me on that deck there. I saw them crouched. So that was not good. I I reacted way too early. I'm playing kind of risky here because um, that explosion definitely did notify the killer, and I'm continuing to repair this generator. And it looks like he hasn't picked up that survivor yet to hook them, so I might be um I might be at like a high risk here because that means the killer is freely moving around. Okay, it looks like he got both survivors, or at least two, and uh, picked up one of them. So he's going to hook one of them. All right, so one has been hooked. I'm going to let Leon, since Leon has. Quite a bit of health left, let Leon get closer to me, and wait for Leon to get hooked, then make my way to Leon. Because the killer's definitely going to be coming back to Leon, right there, or the survivor that um, is playing Leon, just because um, Leon is still on the ground. But look at this, we're almost done uh, repairing this generator, and we got some help at the very end. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this guy, where you both will. Alright, let's, uh, hopefully we can fully heal him before the killer makes their way uh, back to us. Oh. Sorry, Leon. 
All right, looks like um, looks like the killer is uh focused on me. Oh, good thing I uh I moved. That definitely would have hit. We're in a chase, so I could vault. There we go. So that's like one out of six for that uh archive challenge. And this killer is uh still focused on me. Let's go ahead and hide in here. And uh, hope that if the killer is looking for me, it makes their way over here. They don't search this. Uh, uh, what would you call this? Uh, not a closet, but kind of like a uh, like a cabinet, I suppose. Looks like yeah, the killer is focused on someone else. Oh no, two of them have been uh been downed. I'm going to go ahead and focus on this generator before I make my way over there well no I might have to make my way over there cuz it looks it looked like both of them were at half health thankfully I've increased movement speed while crouching so I can kind of just make my way around crouch okay so a survivor uh Unhooked, uh, we know they died. Wow, I was not, uh, I was not expecting that. All right, well, that, uh, survivor to the left repaired that generator. So, um, we only need three left. I'm going to try to make my way fully on there. Very halfway. Um, his health is, uh, halfway, uh, drained, so. I'm gonna take the risk and go after a uh, meal in here. Yep, I definitely got hit, but that's okay. That is okay. We can take one hit. Hopefully, I can escape uh, the executioner here. And look at that! Thanks to this tall, like vegetation or like um, uh, grass, I suppose you call it. Looks like I might have escaped him. See a survivor right there? Oh. Okay, so... Um, he's pretty close to me now. Hopefully he doesn't come back here where I'm at. Looks like he's focused on Leon. Poor Leon. I don't have a flashlight or anything to blind the, um, the executioner. Because I'm pretty sure now that that was his second time. Um, where's the uh, ge generator? Oh my god. I'm gonna take a risk and just hide in here. Oh my god. I was oh, I thought he saw me. Ooh, wow. Okay, so we have two survivors out of this match. So, not too great because that lowers our odds of repairing the generators. But... No, that doesn't mean it's not doable still. Alright, damage that uh the generator. I'm gonna wait for Pyramid Head here to make his way. Probably across the uh across the map. Alright, looks like we're uh oh. I don't know what that was. Must have been um in effect from when I was uh meleeed by Pyramid Head earlier. Like I said, I'm still learning these characters, and I don't have any of the DLC characters, such as Pyramid Head, so... I'm not really too familiar with, um, with their moves. Oh, fuck. Go ahead and... Oh, no! Damn. I did not think, uh, I could go through, uh, obstacles. Oh, wow, he just, uh... Whoa, this, that is so cool! I have not seen that before! What? I'm not even... Dude, that, that is cool. I didn't know Pyramid Head could do that. I played against Pyramid Head a couple times, but I haven't seen this ability. This is very cool. I didn't know he could do this. Wow. But, um... You see, the last survivor, he's already been hit once. He could save me, but I have quite a bit of health. 
So he could take his time. And then on top of that, I don't know if Pyramid Head is chasing him currently. So if he goes down because I'm already captured, then um, uh, it's going to be game over and the killer wins. And it looks like um, Jake Park, um, the survivor that's uh, um, currently uh, running around, is uh, um, making his way over to me. Oh, I just saw Pyramid Head. Oh yeah, he's he's up there on the on that boat. All right, I need you to help me, sir. Thank you. Now he's making his way over here. We got we got to bounce. Maybe we should try hiding here. See what happens. Oh my God! To the right. He, I wonder if he saw me. I really hope not. Because from where I saw him just now, to the right that there's an opening right there so like if he did see me it was like a perfect like spot oh it looks like he didn't all right i'm going to step out i'm going to hug this wall but i'm going to make my way to the left here i focus on the regenerator Maybe I'm kind of paranoid. I thought I heard, uh, is that him to the left? Maybe that's a survivor. Let's see. No, that's pyramid head to the, to the right now. I think kind of in the distance. I don't know if the video will show, we'll be able to pick it up, but we have a toolbox. This is pretty close match. Like we might die. So I'm going to go ahead and might as well go ahead and sabotage. Oh no, Jake Park went down. Might as well go crouch um, since we have uh, movement speed. Alright, he's been hooked. Let's see how far this root generator is along. Nope. Uh, I could focus on regenerators, but it's only myself and jake park left i just i think i should try to go after jake park and jake park has quite a bit of health left so because of that i can kind of take my time making my way over there it's just if i get hit once more then the game is uh or at least this match is over and this toolbox is uh quite close to jake park so in case i get hit i suppose sabotage this oh my god he saw me i i messed up no way no way i thought I thought I was done for. I should not. I just got lucky there. All right. So uh, I might. I think I'm going to be out of the match here, but that's okay. At least we, we were able to uh, save uh, the other survivor. Pretty good skill checks, but unfortunately, um, Pyramid Head was able to um, take out at least three of us. Don't know about the. Uh, the fate of this last survivor in the match but you know that that survivor has three generators left to repair still so maybe uh most likely they might um get hit once more and pyramid head will um successfully have killed all the survivors but maybe he'll get lucky and um uh end up escaping but uh unfortunately we um we lost um our add-on items which sucks but uh yeah our score points were pretty good um pyramid head here i'm going to go ahead and give pyramid head a thumbs up i'll go ahead and give everyone else uh props as well this was um although i didn't escape I, it was um 
I was alive and able to move around quite a bit, so I would say that was, um, it was a decent match, but I still had fun playing it. But, um, let's see, if I, uh, go over here, yep, I got two gold ranks, just a silver rank, so, like, you know, at least half of these ranks, two of them are gold, so I'd say that's, that's pretty good. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, hit continue and search for another match, and so, um, that's going to end it for this part. I will see you then. All right, welcome back, everyone. We are playing on the Auto Haven Wreckers map. We uh, we have found a new match, so gonna go around this side of the machinery here. I'm going to kind of crouch, hide a little bit just in case I've spawned close or next to uh, the killer. There is a generator right there to my right. I'm going to kind of look around with the camera here. Looks like I might be safe to uh, make my way over there. Go ahead and uh, uh, yeah, I think we're good to uh, approach this uh, generator. So let's go ahead and um, start this repair. Oh, look at that! Someone uh, already uh, in, uh, ran into the killer. Hopefully, I can. There's three of us working on a generator. Two of the other survivors are almost done. Well, they might actually be working on the same one together, which is why it looks like it's going by quite fast. Yep, so that's one generator done. I'm going to go ahead and focus, uh, I'm almost halfway done with this one. Hopefully the killer doesn't come my way. Kind of hard to see, um... If the killer is going to be coming from the right side. But the killer might be making their way over here just because of um, the generator that was completed. Would have alerted the killer. And that was completed to my left. But I'm, I'm almost done with this one. So hopefully we can uh, finish this one and then just kind of book it before the killer makes their way over here if they're not close enough already and it looks like that survivor was a uh, uh, saved um, off the hook so that's good all right that's two I'm going to quickly revolt in here might as well cleanse his totem just for some like extra points All right. I don't hear hear the uh, terror radius or the heartbeat, so sounds like sounds like we might be good. Actually, I hear it now. Oh my god, <laughs> the killer was straight ahead. All right, I'm going to hide in here. Okay, who? Sound like he went away, so. Crouch and make my way, uh, hugging the wall here. Well, there's quite a bit that's blocking my, um, blocking my character, like all this, uh, platforms, like debris, rocks, and all that. So I can kind of freely run, it looks like. Go ahead and crouch as we get closer to this generator. Oh my god, killer is right there. Might as well get behind like this rock for example in case they make their way back here. Probably have better oh no, they've both been hit. There is a hook right there. Oh, man, you know what? I could have made my way over there to sabotage the um the hook. But while he picks that guy up, let's see, while he runs off, I can go after that survivor. Yep. So let's go ahead and um do that. Go ahead and crouch, just in case. I'm going to hide behind this rock, in case the killer comes back here. Let's see. Uh. Alright, don't know where the killer went. Oh no. Let's go ahead and sabotage this hook. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Oh no. They got hit again, but they were able to wiggle their way out, I think. And save, uh, uh save the other survivor. I'm going to risk focusing on this generator right here. Just because it looks like the killer's preoccupied. Looks like that survivor has a flashlight. And, uh, the killer is probably- oh my god. So I say, yeah, it looks like the killer's focused on at least one of those two survivors. Oh my god, let's sabotage this hook. Alright, so that kind of works out. The, um, the killer is definitely close by. Alright, whew. Alright, luckily the killer hasn't been preoccupied or focused on us. So I'd say this is actually going really well, um, at least for me. There is another survivor working on generator that's almost done. And I'm almost halfway through this one, so that's good. Alright, so I believe that survivor, the character's Bill, I can see the killer straight ahead and between the trees kind of hovering around him a little bit. He's already halfway, uh, his health is already halfway drained. I'm going to risk letting one of the other survivors get to him because I'm almost done with this generator. And then we need one more left. It looks like the, uh, the other survivor is already um, working on the last one. All right, so far pretty good uh, skill checks. And look at that, we are done. Oh, yeah, might as well make our way over to them just because um, um, yep, I might be able to get to Bill in time. I'll probably get hit once, but that's okay. Alright, we gotta book it, man. Let's book it, book it, book it. Yep, the killer's focus on me, definitely. Oh my god. Oh no, there's not a window here. I can vault. Damn it. That sucks. Oh, what? I... Man, maybe I wasn't close enough. I hit RB to uh, slam the pallet, and it wasn't working. That sucks. I was gonna wait for the killer to get closer so I would uh, be able to stun him. Hopefully stun him. But either way, the, the intention was to block the killer. That sucks. Well, at least this is my first time being hooked, but that's okay. Uh, it does look like the other survivor that was hooked after Bill um, was killed. But, uh... Yep, look at that. The last generator was powered on, so there is a chance to escape. I could take a chance to escape the hook, but that's going to drain my health if it doesn't work. So I'd, I'd rather wait till one of the other survivors are close. And this, this guy is kind of, um... Okay, he looks like he's going to that gate, because he saw... I believe that's Bill. Um, yep, he's focused on him. Alright. Let's go ahead and heal each other, I would suggest, just in case we, um, we both get hit. Alright, she wants me to, uh, open up this gate. I was trying to, uh, heal the, uh, survivor, but that's okay. And look at that, because we are- oh my god, I'm gonna get hit. Because we are injured, uh, we have, like, a speed increase. Hopefully I, this pallet works this time. Yep, look at that. Alright. I'm going to quickly make my way over here. Oh my god, no way. Did we... Did I escape him? Oh my god, look at that. I wonder which uh, hatch was open or which uh, door. I'm going to take the risk and run this way. Oh my god, he's right there. So it is that one that's open. Actually, he might have meleeed it open.
I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to run. Yeah, it looks like he's not close. So now look at this. All right, so unfortunately one survivor did die, but the other two survivors escaped and uh, I was able to escape when the killer ran off. So that was um very risky because it seemed like all of us were like one hit away from not escaping. But look at that, we got quite a bit of blood points from that. Got a silver rank and uh, the uh, my ability to stay away from uh, the killer, but all my other ranks are gold. Which is uh, pretty good. And I gained a quite a bit of XP. Still level 25, but that's okay. And uh, just under 20,000 points, so that's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and give everyone props. This was a... Um, uh, this was a really fun uh, match. I really liked it. Alright, so... Uh, yep, that was, that was a lot of fun. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Hopefully we can, yep, I need to vault four more times. Haven't been doing this as much, so um, uh, hopefully we can go ahead and knock out four more, of course, if we're being chased. But um, yeah, I am going to go ahead and search for another match, and I will see you then. Alright, welcome back everyone. We found a new match, and we are playing on the Macmillan Estate map. I'm going to kind of, there's a generator right in front of me, but I'm going to kind of crouch and hide behind this rock, look to left or to right, just in case I spawned right next to the killer. Excuse me, I apologize about that. Alright, so... It looks like I might be, uh, might be okay. Go ahead and start repairing this, uh, generator. Oh, there's a survivor right there crouching. Ooh, okay. Pretty good skill check. Looks like they're cr crouching around that uh, building. I don't see the killer yet, so that's good. And look at that, we have a survivor that made their way over here to help us out. Alright, kind of moving the camera around just to keep an eye out on the killer. Looks like th they stopped to uh, open that chest. The, uh, up oh, to the right there. I don't know if, um, my camera was able to pick it up in time, but it's all the killer, um, over that building where that pr previous survivor was. So maybe the killer is, um, uh, chasing that survivor right now. And it looked like it was a doctor, though I could be wrong. All right. Oh, and you know what? Let's go ahead and sabotage this hook right before the killer and use this hook. Hello, sir. How's it feel? He's probably gonna make his way back over me just for that. I'm going to kind of crouch and hug the corner of this rock here. Yeah, look at that. He's making his way over here. He's 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 searching for me. He knows I went this direction. But yep, he's turning around because he kind of has to keep an eye out for uh. The survivor he just hooked so they don't get saved. Oh, look at that. Um, someone finished the second generator. Kind of making his way over here by the house, but not too far because he's, um, he wants to stay closer to that survivor. Oh, all right. There is a generator right next to me, but if I start working on that. Probably going to, um, uh, Man, that was close. I'm probably going to get detected because he's going to uh, make out the noise. The survivors half their health is halfway drained. Yep, there's a doctor still. I'm going to vault through here. Hopefully, the killer doesn't run in here. Them. Look at that, they were uh, they saved the survivor, so that's good. Let's go ahead and vault right there and quickly run over here just uh, in case the survivor comes this way, such as that survivor. All right, so it looks like uh, the doctor is able to inflict some uh, 
some madness on two uh, of the survivors. Let me go ahead and heal this guy. All right, never mind. It looks like he wants to just repair the generator. Hopefully the doctor doesn't uh, come this way. Going to kind of move the camera around just to hopefully detect the, the killer before the killer gets close enough. But with this house in the way, oh my god, that was a very risky uh, uh, skill check. Alright, they finished uh, a third generator, so that's good. But once we finish with this one, this we will only have one more generator left, which is very, very good. Alright, now... Oh, there's a killer right there, but the killer is uh, preoccupied, so... Hopefully, uh... Killer, um... Uh, you know, yep, it looks like the killer is still preoccupied. So I'm going to focus on this. Probably not, because it just exploded. If the killer comes over here, let's go ahead and sabotage this. Nope. Alright, what's nice is the killer is, uh, um, how do I describe this? Kind of highlight on the map for us. And, uh, killer's far away to where we can just quickly go ahead and vault. And I'm going to make my way back over here. Don't know if that survivor is going to follow me, but that's okay. Yep. Maybe the survivor will... Oh my god. I should probably stop standing up and crouching. <laughs> probably get the killer's uh, attention. All right, ooh. There is one generator left needed to um, um, open up the escape. And it looks like one survivor is currently more than halfway done. So I think I'm going to crouch. It right, looks like the killer is not over here or close. I could be wrong, was that survivor up ahead? Maybe, uh, maybe I should have seen things, but if I could somehow make my way close to a hatch, then maybe I could power that on if someone were to finish that, uh, that last generator. But it looks like they weren't able to complete it, so if I can make my way over to that generator, if I can find it. I mean, he did see me, didn't he? Oh my god, no way. Oh my god, I must have just gotten lucky. Oh, the killer came over here because I was seen. And that would have been good on the killer because the terror radius, I couldn't even hear until um, the killer was already too close. Wow, that was... That feels like luck. If this guy comes over here, I would happily heal him so that he can take another hit. Here, let me go ahead and heal you, man. Just in case. Alright. That person is hooked pretty close by. Hopefully, uh... And well, we both can afford a hit to uh, not just open the hatch, but... I'm sorry, I keep saying hatch. But to, um... Open up the gate. But it is kind of risky with the, the killer here. But, I could like hug this tree, I'm gonna go around the tree, in case the killer, uh, yep, like that, if the killer makes his way over here, I could hopefully, like, in the tree, run around the killer. Alright, looks like the killer's to the right. This is risky, because they're making their way to the hatch. So... Don't know if I'll be able to open it up. Oh my god. Hopefully I did not just get seen. Okay. I'm going to take the risk and open the hatch. Or open the escape. That guy's hooked. 
I was, uh, I was definitely seen. Yep, see, because he's making his way over. And this is kind of nice because he's highlighted. Oh my god, look at that. And unfortunately, that survivor, though, did die. So that sucks. Oh, so there is an exit available. Looks like they're making their way to the, uh, um, or they made their way to the, uh, gate gate. So now it sounds like it's almost open. Just going to, uh, an excitement. Let me go ahead and heal you. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and escape. Because the doctor was very close there and uh yeah look at that that was another a successful uh, escape um match that we had so uh so far i have not really had a reason to vault away over a pallet or a window in uh in a chase because i've been pretty good about not getting detected but um look at that we earned uh, quite a bit of xp uh, not enough to level us up and that's okay um i did have fun and uh this was a really fun match so i'm going to go ahead and give everyone props and um it looks like three of us did escape besides whoever jake park was who unfortunately was hooked for a third and final time but uh yeah i did pretty good i got just under like forty thousand um like points Got some more blood points, which is pretty good. And I got one iridescent um, ranking compared to the three silvers I got. So that's pretty decent. And uh, yeah, this was, um, like I said, Nia Carlson, who I'm playing as. She is, uh, she's one of my personal favorites. I really, I really like using just because of her agility and movement speed and her ability to just like kind of crouch around like I've been doing, kind of evade the killer with um, increased speed increased movement while crouched um so i really i really like playing her uh she's a lot of fun in, fun in this game but um yeah those were uh three really fun uh matches um like i said i i really like this game i'm getting um more invested into it so um i'm going to continue playing uh other characters or at least the other characters that i've really liked playing and I'll probably eventually buy some of the DLC and try out DLC characters. But um, yeah, that being said, I definitely expect to see more Dead by Daylight uh, videos in the near future. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end uh, the Survivor video here with Nia Carlson. So um, that being said, I hope you all are doing well and take it easy.